the welcome party in honor of Senator Dr. Larry Tedrosho, who was recently appointed by President Muhammadu Buhari as the chairman and pro-chancellor of the governing council of the University of Lagos, was well attended. Senator Larry Tedrosho is a medical doctor. He started his elementary education at the University of Lagos Staff School in 1967 and later attended Igbobi College, Lagos in 1974 for his secondary school education. In 1981, he was admitted into the University of Lagos where he obtained his MBBS and later went for a special course in telemedicine and medical computing abroad. Senator Dr. Larry Tejushu became a medical doctor at the age of 21, making him one of the youngest doctors in Nigeria back then. The young Larry Tejushu completed his National Youth Service Corps program at the Nigerian Ports Authority Medical Hospital, after which he had a brief stint at Teju Hospital, now Yalodi Bisoye Tejushu Hospital, owned by his grandmother, where he practiced as a medical officer. Senator Larry Tejosho was on the board of many blue chip companies, including Beja Paints Nigeria PLC, Custodian and Allied Insurance, Teju Industries Limited, Yalode Bisoye Tejosho Hospital, and Adonai Petroleum. He is the founder of Avashina International School and Buckwood School at Belkutago State. He was the chairman of the Lagos Badminton Association from 1993 to 1994. Senator Dr. Larry Tejosho is the founder of the Yalu de Bisuye Tejosho Malaria Foundation that has over the years provided free medical care to many. Senator Larry Tejosho was elected into the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in April 2015. He is married to Olori Moji Tejosho Ne Okoya, one of the daughters of billionaire industrialist Chief Razak Okoya. The couple is blessed with children and grandchildren. The event, which was hosted by the Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Lua Tonyo Gudikbe, who was accompanied by his wife, had in attendance all other appointed and elected members of the council, as well as principal officers of the University of Lagos. Dignitaries present were Her Excellency, Chief Mrs. Noemot Salako Yudili, Deputy Governor of Ogun State, an alumna of the University of Lagos. Professor Uluatunyu Gundikbe, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos. Chief Chinedu Adendo, Honorable Commissioner for Health, Lagos State, Professor Emmanuel Akiola Bayomi. Dr. Aminu Abdurrahman, Professor Ayodele Victoria Asenua, Deputy Vice Chancellor elect, Development Services, University of Lagos among many others. In the remarks of the Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Lua Tonyo Gudikwe, he welcomed all to the event and spoke about what to expect. We are here to celebrate the council members of the University of Lagos on behalf of staff, students of University of Lagos. I'm pleased to welcome all of us. It is indeed gratifying to have such men of honor accept to serve as a member or as members of the governing council of the University of Lagos at a critical time in our history. It is even more gratifying that at the inaugural meeting of council held May 4, 2021, the pro-chancellor and chairman of council clearly enunciated his vision for the university with the acronym 1C for 3 Cs. We stand for One Council for Cooperation, Creativity, and Consolidation. I have no doubt that this, thank you very much, I have no doubt that this era a new beginning in the history of the university, one that is characterized with unity, selflessness, and loyalty to the system. It is important to mention here that the atmosphere of cordiality, sense of direction, 
and majority of this council has already sent a new wave of joy into the university community. I received a lot of text messages yesterday, people saying, it is the new dawn. And it is affair all day. In the goodwill message of the Deputy Governor of Ogun State, Chief Mrs. Noimot Salako Yedili, she emphasized that the new governing council of the University of Lagos will continue the good works of the past governing body, stressing that the council will continue to ensure that the vision of the University of Lagos is kept alive. I bring you greetings from His Excellency Prince Yako Abiodun MFR, the Governor of Ogun State. His Excellency would like me to extend his heartfelt congratulations to one of our own, a pride of Ogun State, a prince, a medical doctor, an industrialist, a business mogul, a politician, and a distinguished senator of the Federal Republic, the Pro-Chancellor and Chairman of Council for the University of Lagos, Prince Larry Tejoshi. To crown all these uh, adjectives, he is an alumnus of the University of Lagos. The appointment of Prince Larry Tejoshi for this role as the Chairman of Council is a well-deserved one. A round peg has been put in a round hole. This uh, uh, appointment is a very important one because as, a, as leader and, and chairman of council, it directs the vision and the policies of the university. The experience that uh, the distinguished senator has garnered in various sectors right across his personal life, his business life, and his political life will come into play. And without a doubt, all the members of council and the university family will notice and know that they have a good leader as the uh, chairman of council. The Honorable Commissioner for Health, Lagos State's Professor Emmanuel Akiola Bayomi, in his remark, applauded the hard-working nature of the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Lua Tunyu Gudikbe, and encouraged him to do more. My dear friend, my brother, my mentor, my Egbon, I have so much respect for you. The things you've accomplished in Abuja, through the various house committees that you've been sitting on, your past history as being a commissioner in Ogun State, I'm fully aware of the policy shifts that you have created for the benefit of Nigerians, fighting and waging war against people with narrow minds and people with selfish agendas. You fought the battle. And I dare say that because of this, your successes, that is why you're here today, because everybody in this room recognizes what a champion you are, what a champion of the people you are, what a committed academic, what a committed politician, what a, a man that stands up for the rights of the people. And therefore, I have great pleasure in welcoming you to Lagos. It's always been a challenge trying to get to you in Abuja, um, but now you're here. We are going to meet often. I will come to you, and I'm sure you will come to the Ministry of Health. I will go on tours of Lagos, and we're going to try and find solutions to the myriad of problems that we have in this country. And we're going to cause a shift. And we're going to continue to advocate for larger and larger amounts of funding to be put in research and development because that is the mission of this university. Thank you very much. There was a presentation titled A Tour of the University of Lagos, Past, Present, Future, 2025, 
by the Deputy Vice Chancellor Development Services, Professor Ayodele Victoria Asenua, who emphasized that sharing the vision of the university is very important. She invited her colleagues, Mr. Ismaili Ibrahim of the International Office and Dr. Adebisi, to present the slides on what they have achieved and what they intend to achieve in the University of Lagos. During the presentation, Dr. Adebisi spoke on the rate of unemployment in Nigeria and how the number has been increasing over time. The doctor also spoke about some models on ground developed by the University of Lagos to help check the trend. So I invite you to just sit, eat your dinner, and as you do, catch the vision with us. In the new University of Lagos, we value everything that our friends bring. We value everything that our alumni bring. We value everything that our stakeholders bring. We are no longer conceptualizing university in the traditional way. Our aspiration is to offer Nigerian higher education a different model when it comes to funding. So we're looking to friends, we're looking to big money, we're looking to small money. We want everything to come in. We want our alumni, and I believe that there are quite a number of our alumni this way. We want our alumni to think in terms of giving us 25,000 per annum for the rest of your life, 50,000 per annum for the rest of your life, 100,000 per annum for the rest of your life. You can imagine the pool that that will be if we have 100,000 students giving us 100,000 every year without fail. And so we invite you to please watch and listen to the presentations by colleagues and catch the vision and let us build a greater University of Lagos. 2022 is round the corner. October 2022, we will be celebrating our 60th year. We're leading up to 60 years and we're gonna celebrate the 60th year big. 1962 to 2022, a greater University of Lagos. By 2025, indeed, we will be greater than the greatest that is now. Thank you very much. In the remarks of the man of the day, Senator Dr. Olari Wajutejwisho, Chairman, Pro Chancellor of the Governing Council of the University of Lagos, he thanked everyone for coming, spoke about some plans of the Governing Council of the University of Lagos and ended with a promise to ensure that the next four years will birth a great difference in the university. I can assure you that only good news will emanate from this university henceforth. Uh, there is no way that the tongue and the teeth will not fight themselves, but they keep quiet and they solve it and they will heal. Um, the events of the past few months and year has cost Unilag so much money. So many international bodies refused to relate with Unilag just because of the bad news that they were receiving concerning Unilag. And I tell you, the, according to the holy books, the evil we saw before, we shall see no more. So we shall cooperate with ourselves, we shall be very creative, and we shall consolidate on all the achievements of Professor Oluwatoyi Ogundikwe. Thank you very much. The vote of thanks was thereafter given by the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Management Services, University of Lagos, Professor Obin Nachuku. The event was brought to an end with the recitation of the University of Lagos anthem. From Biscon Communications, its congratulations to Senator Dr. Lanre Tejuosho, the recently appointed Chairman and Pro Chancellor of the Governing Council of the University of Lagos, and all the others.